you feel lost and confused when it comes to research impact? Don't despair, there's a way to clear the fog. Researchers applying for funding from the UK Research Councils have to consider how they will plan pathways to impact. Planning your grant application is much like planning any big venture. Think of planning your application as if it was an expedition. It's important to start early. Leaving your application to the last minute could result in missed opportunities. Preparation is essential. Do your research, know what is required and what's been done before you. The first thing you need to decide is what types of impacts could be generated by the research. The second thing you need to decide is who could and should be involved to generate and evidence these impacts. My last big research grant was to, in a way, invent a new way to date rocks because we want to understand how long big events last in the past and also how quickly they happen. One of the real difficulties with uh, geological impact is thinking about where you might find evidence for impact because the timescales are so big that they're not really of human importance. But there are always places to go to for guidance, like the REF impact guidance for example can really help you frame questions to think about who and when and how you might gather evidence for impact. Involving people should be a key part of the impact planning process. Choose people who can make a contribution or who could be affected by the research. This could involve special expertise or experience. It could also involve citizens with an interest or stake in the work. Working with others will bring new insights and help improve the quality of your research. Once we've identified who our stakeholders um, might be, these mining companies for example, it was then a case of, well, have, do we know anyone in mining companies? Who, who can we ask? Um, and it turns out that actually this is where you need to ask co-investigators because even if you don't have um, any contact yourself, no doubt the people you're working with might do. And as it happened, that was the case. So, so one of the co-investigators on the project um, had direct links to people who worked in mining companies, contacted them and they were directly interested in, in our work. So from after that, it was quite easy. In this initial planning stage, you all need to lay your cards on the table. Be open about what you want to get out of this and ask your participants to be open too. Agree your core objectives with the other participants. You need to explore the outline of your plan. How will you work together to agree the details? The next step is to agree the specific details of the impact plan. What methods could help you work together? When are your key milestones? You also need to ensure that the purposes are relevant and useful for the various participants. Are you trying to generate money or commercial benefit? Are you trying to improve health and well-being or aiming to improve professional practices? Is your goal to help the environment or some other form of impact? What are your deliverables at each stage of the research cycle? And finally, who will be responsible for leading this work? The initial contact was made with the companies by the, the co-investigator and we had a bit of a discussion about what would be the most logical time of the year to meet and how to meet, whether in person or online or by phone. Um, and how often those meetings would need to be over the course of the, of the grant funding um, and also what we were going to get out of those meetings as well, what the, um, the handovers would be, what the uh, discussion of the, of the knowledge would be. Um, and then finally how much all that would cost. Um, so how much is it going to cost to go to somewhere for a day or, or stay overnight um, and then, then everything just logically fell into place after that really. After all this planning, you need to ensure that you can make it happen. How will the impact plan be paid for? Consider how much time you'll need for each person to contribute and how people's time will be paid for. What other costs might be associated with your plan? What practical health and safety and ethical considerations do you need to make? 
We had to think about all the different aspects that we would need money for, from the tangible, like travel and subsistence, uh, to the intangible, like people's time. Um, and then any money we'd need to spend on things, on consumables. Um, so it's just a case of logically going through what our plan was, what we would need, writing it all down. A top tip which will help you with this planning is to find yourself a mentor. Draw on the expertise of others. As you complete a first draft, discuss your impact plan with your mentor. Take on board any advice and guidance they might offer. One of the really difficult things as an academic is knowing, to, knowing who to go and talk to basically about impact because it's not something we're trained for and it's not something we generally have to deal with until suddenly we have to deal with it. So a good mentor is key. There is always going to be somebody around who will sit down with you and go, who, when, how, be precise, think about the details and that's what you really need. So find that mentor. These are the top tips for writing your impact plan. Start your planning early. Connect your plan to the research. Identify your purposes. Agree who you need to work with. And agree how you're going to work with them. Identify a leader for the plan. Agree how the plan will be resourced. Consider ethics and risks. Find a mentor. And sense check the plan. If you follow these steps, you should have a plan ready to submit. Good luck and remember, your research really can make a difference.